Well, Elon Musk also became a household name because of his electric car company, Tesla. So what's behind that name? Well, the company got it from legendary inventor Nikola Tesla, who lived in the late 19th century. Now, he shot to fame by inventing gadgets that are still in use today. There's the Tesla coil used in radios and alternate current or AC electricity, which basically powers appliances in everyday homes today. So for more on his legacy and how he continues to inspire today's innovators, I spoke to John Wasick, a journalist and author whose latest book is about Nikola Tesla. I asked him why Tesla looms so large in US history. Well, he was a real pioneer. He had to team with uh, George Westinghouse to wire Niagara Falls. It was one of the first major applications of hydroelectric power in the United States and the world. And then they built a system around alternating current and delivering it to big cities, which made uh, a lot of things possible. Uh, big skyscrapers, uh, office buildings, uh, electricity lights in the homes, and a raft of other inventions. Now, obviously, sometimes when you're a futurist, you can come up with ideas that people at the time really just can't conceptualize. How was he received during that time? Was he seen as someone who was just really out there, or were people really on board with some of the ideas he was proposing? Well, he was very, very famous during his time in the late 19th century. Uh, he was seen as a very groundbreaking engineer, the man who could make things happen. Uh, and then into the 20th century, he had got into some very exotic systems. He wanted to broadcast power, uh, communications, networks, doing things like that. And his funding was pulled, and he was never really able to uh, build his entire system. And later in the 1930s, he was seen more of a visionary, but uh, a bit more of a curiosity, too. Now, Tesla obviously inspired a lot of different people today. As we mentioned, we've got Elon Musk, um, CEO of Tesla, and also Google's Larry Page. But what about Tesla himself? Who or what actually inspired him? Well, Tesla was inspired by everybody who came before him. At one time, his idol was Thomas Edison. He worked for him briefly. He certainly admired George Westinghouse. Uh, he knew Mark Twain. Mark Twain was a friend of his. Uh, and there were a lot of other people in his circle who were probably the most famous people of his time. Now, as we look at some of today's tech titans, as we mentioned, Elon Musk, Larry, um, Larry Page, how is Tesla's work inspiring them? Well, Tesla was very much interested in building a system. Now, if you look at what Elon Musk is doing now, he wants to create a system where you have solar panels on the roof of your house or your buildings, and you have a unit which stores electricity in a battery array, and then you can power your car and your entire home. So like Tesla, he was very much interested in a big system that could distribute power and do it very cleanly. Now, something that all inventors at some point are going to come up against in their lives, failure. How did Tesla handle that? Well, I think he sought to reinvent himself uh, once his funding was pulled by J.P. Morgan for his world system. He said, well, I have to buckle down. I have to start inventing things again. A lot of people don't know he invented the speedometer for autos. Uh, he looked at uh, bladeless turbine. He tried to invent that and get it going. And he was always seeking funding. It wasn't like Silicon Valley today where you found a venture capitalist or an angel investor and you got all this money. You really had only a couple of sources uh, for capital at that time. But nevertheless, Tesla always got back on his feet. He had a lot of setbacks. And he was remembered as very much a visionary and somebody who wanted to integrate peace and technology. And if you had to think of a few lessons, what are some of the lessons that we can learn from Tesla's experience with setbacks? I think the, the biggest takeaway from Tesla is that you can visualize what you want to do, write it down, uh, do a diagram, and, and think of where you want to be. And then that's where Tesla was strongest, is he had a very strong vision, something he could see in terms of a big system, and then he executed it. He just didn't dream about it. He actually tried to put it together. Looking ahead, which of Tesla's concepts do you think really has the potential to make the biggest waves, not just in tech, but perhaps in society overall? I think that the fact he was integrating a lot of different ideas, so robotics was controlled by radio. Radio be became part of this huge communications network. He wanted to transmit data. He wanted to transmit voice and images. But he all saw it coming out of one system. So he saw the big picture. And I think we need to focus on what does that big picture mean? How is it going to improve people's lives? 
What does it mean in terms of reducing labor? And he thought all these things through. And when you come up with a big concept, sometimes it seems very unwieldy, but down the road, it becomes a great big project that's going to help a lot of people. And just lastly, in your experience of writing this book, were there any surprises that you came across? Oh, quite a few. I, I was surprised at how many people supported Tesla along the way, uh, his influences, um, his, his way of thinking, how he really created his ideas. And he had a lot of setbacks. It wasn't a straight line for him. It was a very jagged curve. And he kept bouncing back. And he, and he now, the power of uh, his ideas are really, really staying with us and, and still inspiring people.